In today's video, we are going to break down MCP in the simplest way possible. Almost like a story, no rubbish, no complexity, just a clear, fun explanation that anyone can understand. So sit back, relax, and let's explore how MCP can change the human ways and AI work together. Let's imagine in a big school, smart students wanted books, science kits, and music. But every room had tricky rules and students kept getting lost. Then came a special guide called MCP. This guide knew all the paths and rules. Now, if students ask for books, tools, or tips, MCP bring it easily from the right room. Before MCP, everything was very confusing. With MCP, students just ask, and the guides handles the rest. MCP is just like the magical school guide that makes life simple for everyone. This school guide story matches how real MCP actually works with AIs and tools in real life. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol and it is a smart system that lets AI apps quickly and safely connect to all sorts of resources and gadgets without confusion or extra coding. Let's compare school guide story with real MCP. So, in this story, students are equivalent to AIs like ChatGPT or Claude who wants to get different things like books, kits, tools, informations. In real life, AI apps wants to fetch files, run codes, or use services to answer questions or complete tasks. In this story, MCP is the guide that helps students find the exact room and get the right things easily. And in real MCP is a universal standard protocol that shows AI models the right way to connect to the databases, APIs, tools, and other softwares. The AI just asks MCP and gets what it needs securely and quickly. In this story, rooms have special things like books and tools, each with their own rules. And in real world, external systems like file storage, project platforms, gadgets are the rooms. And MCP knows how to talk to each other so AIs don't need to learn each room's rules. They just follow MCP simple path. Let's take a real example. If you will ask ChatGPT or Claude to fetch sales data from XYZ company database and email it to the manager, it will not able to do it, right? Because its model is not being trained for the specific company data. With MCP, the AI tells MCP what it wants and MCP connects the AI to the right place to fetch and sense the data, all without the AI worrying about how each system works. Let's do some demo to understand more about it. This video is sponsored by Storm MCP. They are one click setup for Cloud Desktop, Cursor and VS Code and it will be able to connect with OAuth or API keys and it will manage all your MCP servers from one dashboard. You can sign up directly using your Google account and it will be very easy to log in and then you will find this interface which is very simple to use. And in the app section, you will find plenty of MCP servers to explore. In the gateway section, you will be able to find API key management where you will be able to create an API key. In the observability section, you will be able to find the gateway traffic and which function has been used a lot. In the logging section, you will be able to find which gateway has been triggered and what date and time and which function it has used and the duration and the session. In the information tab, you will find tutorial videos, social, how to connect, what's new in the updates. You can take help and docs. Let's try with simple MCP server. Let's search for date and time. This is the MCP server and it is very easy to connect. We can directly connect it. It is showing successfully connected and you will filter it out from here. Let's try to create a gateway, select all the functions, click on create. Now new gateway will be created. You will find the gateway created here and you can directly add cursor from here. I have cursor installed on my machine. Just click on the add cursor button, click on API key authentication, open cursor and automatically it will install mcp server click on install and it will be added 
on your MCPN integration tab. You can get to know what all functions has been added. Let's play with these functions and see if we are getting the output or not. And yes, it looks like it is working. We are getting output for all the functions added like date and time, current date and time, relative time, day in a month, timestamp. All of them are working fine. Let's try to explore another example related to the cryptocurrency. Let's add CoinGecko MCP. Similar way, let's create the gateway. Select all the functions, add it to the cursor, and boom. We have imported all the functions related to this. Let's play with these functions and see if we are getting the output. Let's try to get the top gainers and losers. I think it is not able to connect. It will retry it. And yeah, we got the output. We got the list of all the top gainers and top losers. Let's search for another query list of all coins which got increased by more than 100%. So yes, we are getting all the output. So these are some use cases which we can use it. So now we have seen that Storm MCP is a single solution which we can use it to set up our MCP servers and use it 100 plus integrations. And the best part is you can start it with free and for an individual free plan is more than enough. I hope you enjoyed this video and that MCP now feels a lot easier to understand. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps this channel to grow and lets me bring you more complex explanation on complex tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.